What's up guys, it's your man Big Super. Guys, today I'm out here in a very beautiful, scenic part of the valley. I'm gonna give you guys a couple hints. That there is, what did they tell me? It's Gold Something Mountain. This is the Superstition Mountains. Guys, I'm at the corner of Superstition Boulevard and Idaho Road. I'm in the town of Apache Junction. If this is your first time on my channel, this channel, guys, I do everything Arizona. If that's something that you can rock with, something that you can roll with, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Ring the notification bell so you get notified every time I drop a new video. If you like this video, and let me tell you guys, this is an adventure, you don't wanna miss a moment. You will like this video. Make sure you hit that like button. Let's get this video, guys, to 1,000 likes. If you really like this video, make sure you share the video. Enough of the small talk. Guys, I'm over here today in uh, the beautiful town of Apache Junction. So I've been hearing a lot about Apache Junction. There's a lot that is said. One thing that I put your mind at ease, everyone in the valley always says, hey, Apache Junction is far out. It's way out. I threw on my trip, my trip meter, my tripometer, whatever you want to call it. I threw that on at like on the 10 on like 7th Street. It was 35 miles to here. So about it being far out, not that far out. This place borders the Superstition Mountains. It also borders East Mesa. Oh, that's a nice car right there. Hey. Guys, this is the demographics. Population 40,000, 80% white, and these are rough, very rough. These are very rough estimates. 80% white, 14% Hispanic, and there is 1% black, 1% Asian. And there is, uh, I think like 4%, two plus uh, races. So those, are, those are rough estimates that I just round up for you. But I came out here, guys, because this is a place that's on the map. It is a city in the East Valley. I don't know what we're gonna find here, but I had to come check it out. There's a lot of stuff, like say for instance, you got the Lost Dutchman Mount, uh, Mine. Uh, if you go over there in those mountains, there's a ton of hiking, uh, mountain biking. Uh, there's lakes over there. We're close to Swirl Lake, Roosevelt Lake. I mean, it's so much to do here. Uh, and uh, ghost towns and stuff. So this is a, a old west feel. So guys, I just want you guys to check this out. I don't know what we're gonna run into because I'm out here, I'm out here, I'm out here. So uh, let me go in here and, let, and let's start off. Let's go get my water. Thank you, sir. Hello. You doing your YouTube channel or what? Yes, sir. You already know. Big Super living in Arizona. Big Super? Yep. You just type in Big Super, you'll see me. All the Arizona towns. Okay, cool. Yep, yep, yep. I think I've seen your show before. Actually. Did you, man? I think so. All right. All right, yeah, come on, man. Hook me up. What should we do today? Should we do the Fiji water, the sunny? Let's go. You know what? I'm feeling like a boss today. Fiji it is. Oh, dang, three power. So guys, I'm hoping that I'm not missing anything. Like I said, you got the hiking, uh, mountain bike trails, uh, and there's a whole bunch of uh, stuff to do, off-roading and things like that. So uh, I'm surprised, I'm a little shocked though, because driving into town, I did see a lot of uh, new development going on. I seen a raw store, I seen the big fries. So it's a lot of big business and stuff like that moving in. So My bad, my bad. I ran out of, uh, I stopped recording right here at this point. When I tell y'all what had happened, y'all gonna laugh y'all butt off. Y'all see the, the line was pretty long. I know y'all didn't want to stand in line the entire time. So what I did, I turned the record button off. Thinking of you, cause I didn't, I knew you didn't want to wait in line. Soon as I turned the record button off, 
Remember the homie that had said he was going to subscribe to the channel? He got to telling me what's good with AJ. I mean, we in there kicking it, man. I'm talking about we in there turning up, man. It's lit, right? AJ is known for having a lot of trailer parks. So he's telling me, like, there's a lot of trailer parks out here. But, he says, there's a lot of trailer parks for 55-year-olds and older. And I'm like, that makes sense to me because all the trailer parks that I'm seeing are nice trailer parks. I'm like, what we here in the valley is y'all got 8-mile trailer parks. He like, yeah, it's an 8-mile trailer park right up the street. And y'all know me. Y'all know how I get down. While all this is going on, I'm thinking that I'm vlogging. And I got the cameras going, and I ain't even vlogging. I'm just now realizing that I didn't get none of that on camera. So I just cut in right now so I can let y'all know what's coming up. So right here in this moment in the video, we gonna cut to this part with me walking through this eight mile trailer park. You don't wanna miss Nan part of this video. It's so much cool stuff that happened. AJ was lit, y'all. AJ was lit. Hey, I ain't going to hold you no more. Right now, I'm interjecting into the video. We're going to cut to... Uh, I'm walking in the 8 Mile trailer park. Okay? And we're going to resume the video. Oh. Uh, that sounds like so 8 Mile-ish to me. I do see a lot of... Blowing in the wind. I see a lot of that blowing in the wind, but uh, nothing so bad. So, so far, guys, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. So yeah, you know, just driving around, really what I'm seeing so far, it seems like uh, the houses have really big lots out here. That's really what I'm getting the most. Ooh. Might have to get on. <laughs> I might have to get on the body here, y'all. But not so bad, right? And to be honest with you, like what I'm saying right now, this is what I heard of AJ. Are you filming? Yeah, Why? I'm a YouTuber. I'm filming the lovely town of Apache Junction. What's your name? Vic Super, living in Arizona. What? Vic Super, living in Arizona. So uh, mostly what I'm seeing here is a bunch of older properties. I think these people are used to kind of like doing their own thing. Hey, what's the name of that mountain right there? Uh, Gold something. Gold, Gold something, no? Huh? Four Peaks? Four Peaks Mountain. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and show you guys some more of this lovely town. <sighs> Apache Junction. Is that a real stagecoach? Wow. Yes or no, in the comments, do y'all think this is a real stagecoach? Look at this thing. Wow. 
Do you guys see this thing? You think they did the interior like that back in the days? This is leather. Look at that thing. Concord stage line. Guys, is that not the coolest thing ever? Damn, a stagecoach. A real life stagecoach. Look at the tires. The back tire is bigger than the front. There goes the back tires. There go the front. And I guess all the way out here. Oh, okay, that's right. You always see the, the guy riding right up front. Right? And boom, this right here attaches to the horses that pull you along the way. That's wood. That is real wood. Guess this is the brake system here. Isn't that amazing? And in the movies, those things look way bigger. And that's pretty small. You like shoulder to shoulder with whoever is on your side. No reclining seats. Can you imagine riding from, let's just say from here to Tucson on a road that's not paved? That interior had to be redone. Little windows. Patchy Junction, I told y'all it's an old west Can't stop looking. I can't stop looking. I can't stop looking. Lord, help me stop looking at my rear Take me as I am. Will you take me as I am? How's it going? Doing all right, you, sir. Excellent, sir. Excellent. I was just passing by and I noticed all of the horses and I personally never seen this many horses this close ever. Okay. Where are you from? Dave, nice to meet you. I live in Avondale. 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 Yep, yep, yep. John, don't have nice to meet you. I never seen them this close. Oh, my. You take it and you can meet the owner. Yeah, can we? Yeah. Can we? Yeah. Matter of fact, you should come right now. They're actually <laughs> Uh, hey, I, don't, I, don't, I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> they're, uh, they're actually uh, taking care of a horse right now, and they're saying, you probably see that when I pull up your bike. Whoa, look Honey. at that. Just shoeing him, I mean trimming him, not putting shoes. Hi, Maria. Uh, Maria, Nice I, to meet you. Where I, do you live? I live in Avondale. Oh, you do? Yes. What and are you I, doing all the way over there? I have a YouTube channel, and I do uh, videos in every city. I try to cover all of your Awesome. Arizona. Well, we love you. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah. So what are you guys doing right here with this horse? We're just trimming his feet. But all these horses, the majority, mm -hmm. big majority, have um, been starved, beaten. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to show you. Abused. John, have you got or Ask Pam if she's got the pictures on that pony. We went and picked up a pony here. Of what? Huh? The pony that we picked up? Yeah. I'm going to show it to you more. Okay. We starved it to death and... The feet were so long and I had to cut them off with a sawzall, which wow. doesn't bother them because it's like a fingernail at the end, you know. Okay. But, um, sad. Okay. That's it, sad. Did you nurse him back? Is he back in shape? She didn't make it. Oh. And she's she? a little bitty pony mm -hmm. and they starved her. So people abuse, yeah. abuse their, uh, their animals? Meat, starve. You can't believe that. And be Go, horses. um, yeah. huh? And, and beat them, you yeah. know, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. That's, that's and they've got a lot that have been beaten here. Yeah. Terrible. Real bad. Do you guys uh, re or... Um, Rehome? Yes, yeah, re we try to. We, they have to go through a 
you have to fill out an adoption thingy mm -hmm. and then it's for background and stuff and then we go and see where the horses are going to be and then we have them come and ride a few and we want to make sure they know how to okay. saddle and what they're doing i'm very careful because i don't want them to take them from a bad situation and then they get better and then another bad better. situation and it's hard for me i have too many but you don't want to spend six or eight or a year rehabbing something and then just say, oh, well, now I'm going to get some money, so we'll just throw it right back out. Right. Do you guys uh, train them, too? Um, sort of. Or just kind of get them more sociable yes, sort of thing? Yes, that's why our horses are never kept in stalls, except only to nice. eat. Nice, okay. And then they're socialized. 18 hours a day. 18 hours a day they're outside yep. hanging? Okay. Yeah. Are this the majority of all your horses no, that are out? Back there too. Go, yeah, go with Dave. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna hide behind Dave. So I get to get a tour of a horse rescue. Oh. Okay. Oh my Hey. <laughs> Do you keep them in like uh, different phases? Like this one, these are, you had them longer or? No, they just get in certain uh, clicks. Uh huh. Do they? Yeah, they have their own herds. Really? So if you put them all together, they'll all separate in different herds? Well, a lot of them will fight here, get the bears, and even though there's no studs, some of them think they are. Okay, okay. This is one we just picked up last week. He, yeah, he was impaled by something right here. Oh. All down his day. Mm hmm And this is Moses. Moses. He's called a gruel. Okay. And what gruel means is mouse color. Okay. Ah, oh, that's cool. He, I, I noticed that he does have a cool color. Yeah, well, you ought to see something even neater. If you look back here, mm -hmm. on the back of his front leg, he's got like zebra stripes. Oh, wow. How long did you have him? We haven't even had him in here. <laughs> this one here, she was, this is low. Do they, uh, trip if like, if they sense that I'm fearful of them, they won't, no. they're not like dogs or nothing? No. Okay, okay. This one here was an altar show horse, and when she had a baby, she denied, yeah! Yeah. She was pregnant. She denied her vote. Okay. And so she sat there and they just got rid of her because they thought she was no good and they were going to sell her to a kill buyer. Where do they like to be touched or pet? Where you touch them? Best places on their neck. Okay. Contempt there. On their ear. Are these two related? No. <laughs> oh, she left it. She got away from me. Over here, we got some mini ponies. Uh huh. We got Donkey Jag. These guys were actually starved when we got them. Two of them are pregnant. Now, how could you starve something like that? Yeah, you know, intentionally, just I'm just not going to feed them. How do you guys even hear about a horse in distress? Usually, it's people that call and they see them starve. Mm -hmm. And then we got to, of course, go through proper channels to be able to pick them up. Mm -hmm. And then they call us and have us go pick them up. Okay. Because it's the Department of Agriculture that calls us. And then the sheriffs are always there. And mm -hmm. We load them up and bring them home. So this this particular one right here is the one that was getting starved? All four of them. Wow. How long have you guys had, had these? We've had them about 90 days. Now. 90, okay, okay, okay. They're looking good, man. Yeah. 
And they get out of here running. I see they got an opening right there. They, yeah, they can run all the way in there. Yeah. All the way over here. None of our horses stay cooped up. Okay. Okay. Only to go in and eat, then they come back out. Okay. And then this afternoon they'll come in about three. Mm -hmm. They go back out at six thirty. They're out all night, all in the different arenas and stuff. That's like from the uh, that movie. Hey. Jeez, look how big that horse is right there. Look at his ankle. They broke his ankle on the track and never fixed it. Never got it fixed. Then wow. somebody adopted him. Then they Jeez, brought him like here. Like I so got that, you. Oh. But he's the best horse in the world. We can put anybody on him. He goes out on the trail. We use him in the classes. So. He's beautiful. Isn't he? Yeah. This guy here, he's probably the smartest horse on the place. For volunteers that come on Monday, Monday Wednesday, Wednesday, and Friday, Friday. Mm -hmm. we groom them all. Okay, all of them. Three times a week. Mm -hmm. Clean feet, groomed. Our volunteers, we couldn't do without yeah. our volunteers. Okay. They're wonderful people. And a lot of them, they give us, send donations, which help with taking care of them. Mm -hmm. we, we really survive on donations. Yeah. yeah, I can imagine, I can imagine. Because this isn't government funded or anything no, like that. This is out the kindness of your heart. So I'm a little person, but God gave me a big heart. Yeah, I can yeah. tell. Not big she... feet, just a big heart and a big mouth. Yeah, big mouth. <laughs> Loud one. Oh, yeah. Especially if you're doing wrong. Okay. Yeah. We we were making fire here and you was here and we said, we, we, eat, we ain't prejudiced. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we yeah, God did, was going to drag you in the Hey, you know what? The valley <laughs> needs to see that. Because people right talk now? a little smack about oh, AJ, know, you know? I've lived here 46 years in yeah. AJ. Okay. I mean, I went to Four Peaks Elementary School when it was three little buildings. Okay. So I've watched AJ Grove, and yeah, I've too. seen its bads and its goods. Yeah. I've told them, um, harder mean, to have horses There's good and bad in AJ now. everywhere. Town yeah. Go, yeah. No matter where you're at. If it weren't for the right. horsemen and the... Uh, the Superstition Mountains and all that kind of thing, AJ probably wouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. You know, and it has a, a big history of um, ranches and, yeah, yeah. and horses and Chipango? that lifestyle. Chipango. Mm -hmm. But now they're changing. Mm -hmm. And oh, um, they said at some point they're only going to be able to have one or two horses per every five acre, and you know, Whoa. don't quote me exactly, but um, places like this they won't exist anymore. Wow! And um, it just makes it very difficult for um, put your clothes out in your leg. For people that want to come out here, people. because we're getting people in from all other states. I mean, we oh, have people. really nice uh, restaurants mm -hmm. that have country western music, and they uh, there's one restaurant that has slow riding, and um, we've got neighbors that moved in and said, "Oh, it's too loud." And yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah. So many people go there, and, and people from Queen Creek and Santan Valley, and. People all over. I mean, it's it's and been there for. People just now moving here is what's making it hard for everybody else because they're complaining about everything that we've lived our lives around for so long. So basically, they're moving here and they want to turn it into the big city now. Yeah. Yes. They want restaurants and whatever, golf courses exactly. and oh wow. And, and that's 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 the problem. With right. It. I mean, they're trying to take our deserts in Arizona away. Yeah. To put houses. Oh, and this is Chip. <laughs> We don't know where he came from or what he does. What planet? He just, <laughs> <laughs> he just showed up. Hey, how's it going, Chip? Nice to meet you, man. <laughs> yes, sir. You have a wonderful day. All right, you too, man. This swirl has been here for some time, huh? Oh, yeah. When oh, I yeah. came here, it was tiny, but... <laughs> was it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at that thing. Jeez. I know. Might be the world's largest swirl. My name is Maria Jones. This is Good Shepherd Healing Ministries Horse Rescue. We are at 288 West Smoke Tree Street in Apache Junction, 85120. Our phone number is 602-615-7075. Email they can do GSHM horserescue at yahoo.com mm -hmm. 
And the Facebook page is the same, Good Shepherd Healing Ministries Horse Rescue. Our horses are out 18 hours a day. They each have their own stalls. They go in and eat. They come out. Mm -hmm. They go back in and eat. And they come out at 6.30 at night. And they're out. They're herd mentality. They have socialization. Okay. Okay. All right. All Excellent. Right. All right. Thank honey. you. Thank you. Forget what you heard about AJ. You know, these are the first folks that I came by, so either I'm lucky or it ain't all of what you heard. I had a good time here at their uh, horse rescue. Make sure, guys, that you that you get in touch with them. And uh, if you can, help them out or even go to their Facebook uh, post or wherever and just spread some love. Because um, I think more people need to hear about what they're doing out here uh, in AJ. This is, uh, this is a real beautiful thing. So anyway, guys, this is your man, Big Super, man. Thanks for messing with your boy. Ah, holla. Listen.